And he's won over the, the Roma fans by sort of embracing the club. Like he was seen on the pitch singing the club anthem along with the fans before kickoff one day. So they thought, oh, this fella's, we'll have this fella. Um, but he's also, he's still in the England, or he's in the England squad. And I, I presume Premier League clubs are keeping an eye on him. Like, is he a player that, that clubs of, of a high level will say, all right, 27 goals playing for Roma in Italy? We love him. He's had a very, very good season. I mean, to, to do that in Italy is a difficult task and he, he's managed it this season in his first year there. I would sure his value would have gone up quite a bit um, from the 40 million that they bought him for. And I think when you, we've seen a lot of English players who have left English clubs gone away and not really taken to the to the whole environment culture. and the whole mm. culture of the, the different clubs. But he's fitted straight in. He's gone... He's, Pictures of him out at the local cafes and all enjoying this. How could you not and... like living in Rome, though? In fact, I know. It's... Well, that's it. There's a, there's a different culture in, in 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 them countries in terms of they love their football, but they let you be a person as well. Whereas you see in England, everything is photographed, everything's on people are on top of you the whole time. But they respect you as a person more, I suppose, in Europe. And he's he's enjoyed it, but he's embraced it, and he's I think. For him, he's gone there, he's embraced the culture, he's loved everything and it's given him the freedom to, to want to give it all on the pitch and, and you see in his work rate tonight, I mean, he has to come off for well, like seven I, I, eight I think, minutes but I think, kept going I, for the I next think he can go in a lot of positions and you mightn't affect the game as much. He's gone a, a centre forward and a goal scorer and if you're scoring goals, yeah. you, you, your people are with you. Obviously, the manager manager's with you. And that that's... that's um, that's the most important thing. If you do doing your... I mean, look at all the glory boys of the goal scorers. There mm. isn't that much talk about centre-halves in, in, in general parlance. And people talking about team, talking about goal scorers, talking about Harry Kane, talking about Son, talking about Salah. You know, we, Manchester City, unusual team, and there's loads of different goal scorers. But if you talk about with a bigger team than Rome would be buying them, who would buy him? Mm. Would, would Manchester United buy him, who need, who need the centre-forward now? I, I, I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. I wouldn't think they'd be sure that he would fit the bill. But the new manager is the one that would have to make have to have a think about that. Would Manchester City buy him? Not you now. know, not now that they've got Haaland. There wouldn't be that many clubs. So you wouldn't would... get to the level of Chelsea basically that'd be a lower level than, than... Yeah, yeah, I I would think so at the moment. Yeah. But I, I I would I would say that he like he's liking this, enjoying this, mm. and they've won the trophy. And that now Marino might have got himself into a position where he can force the hand of the club a little bit and say, Look at can we build on this? Yeah. You said they were seventh last year, Tommy. They were six this year, they were a long way off. They lost eleven games in the league yeah. this year. You know, they're way way short of, of competing for the for the um for the, the for the title. Yeah. And um, they're in the Europa League next year, so maybe they, they'll compete for that one. The Italian teams, as we know, haven't been very competitive in that competition, but maybe they, they can be. But for him, his own personal point of view, being a regular player, starting in the team, not in the main man. And being a main man. If he wasn't scoring goals, they mightn't let him enjoy his cappuccino as much, though. <laughs> I, I know what you mean, Brian.